What's going on? The folk in town are talking about you. They shot on me. That's what. What? Who did? All of them. Wait. Tell me again from the start. All right. If you want. They caught Peter of Dauba, George Weiss, and a fellow named Harold that everyone calls Frost. They're scum who've been hunted for months. Now they've finally been caught, there's a big execution being prepared. Folk will come from miles around to watch. Well, that's a good thing for you, isn't it? It would be, if I was fucking doing it. Isn't it the custom for you to do all the executions in Ratai? It is. Not just the custom, but by bloody right. You're not being replaced, they said. This is just a loan of Gallows Hill. They really did fuck you over. My words exactly. So who's doing the job? They invited Executioner Heinz all the way from Kutenberg. They say it's going to be a big show. Have I ever fucked up an execution? I always behead them in one blow. And when his lordship wants to drag out a hanging, I leave them kicking for minutes. If he wants it quick, they're stiff as soon as I drop them. And they push me aside like that, after all these years of service. What can we do about it? Nothing. His lordship's decided, and that's that. Nothing? You think they should be allowed to get away with this? Well, no, but... You have the right to executions in Ratai, don't you? I most certainly do. Then you're in the right. Don't tell me you can't think what to do about it. Hmm. The trouble is, they already paid the executioner, and he's come here along with his assistants. We can't stop the executions, unless Heinz drops dead on the spot. Maybe that could be arranged? How? I'm an honorable man. What the hell are you suggesting? <laughs> it's just a joke. I didn't mean it. A bloody stupid joke. The best thing would be if he fucked up the executions. The famous Kuttenberg Executioner can't handle the job. The mob would laugh him out of town and beg me to take over. They'd never invite him here again. Great. So how do we go about it? Hmm. The problem is, I don't know what the sentences will be. They'll only announce them just before the executions, and then it'll be too late to do anything. Can't we just get him blind drunk? That wouldn't work. He's no beginner. And even if we did get him drunk, they'd just postpone the executions till he's sobered up. Suppose I liberate the convicts. Why the hell would you do that? Well, it would be an embarrassment, and then... Only for Ratai, you dolt. Not for the executioner. Would the bailiff know more? Maybe. But most likely only Heinz will know the sentence. I've got an idea, though. Will you help me? Of course. Great. Thank you, Henry. So where should I start? Find out from the bailiff what their crimes are, and then have a look in the Black Chronicle at the Rat House. It goes back before my time. You're bound to find records of some similar offenders in it. You need to find people who committed the same crimes, and came from the same sort of background, noble or lowborn. That way you can find out what the appropriate punishments are. Then come back to me, and we'll work out what to do. I'll get moving. And Henry? Hmm? They want to do the executions on my gibbet at Gallows Hill. I can hold them up for a while, but probably no more than a week. I'll bear that in mind. I need help with a wounded man from Sassau. Oh? Aye. What's his problem, then? Do you know anything about broken bones? <sighs> no, Henry. If you want to rough someone up, then you can go elsewhere. I'm an executioner, not a thug. No, no, it's not that. The exact opposite, actually. There's a man in Sassau with a badly broken leg. They tried to straighten it, but now he's unconscious, and he just keeps getting weaker. Hmm. And the monks won't touch him? Yeah, that's right. They say it's in God's hands. True enough. But it doesn't mean we can't help him, too. 
Where's the leg broken? Above the ankle. All right, listen. They won't let me in to see him, but it's not all that hard to deal with. There are two bones there, most likely both broken. One of them probably didn't set, or it set badly. You can find both of them by feeling for them. If he's lost weight, it'll be all the easier. You have to find the place where the break is and get the two parts together. But the pain will be agonizing. He'll scream like a wounded beast and flail around all over the place. You'll have to get some strong fellows to hold him down so he doesn't do himself a worse injury. Don't be afraid to dig your fingers right into the flesh. And don't let the screaming put you off. Oof. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. <laughs> you will. Good luck, Hal. <laughs> Can you help me with trade? Certainly. I'm interested in... All right. Isn't that quite... Agree? That's not... Agreed. Now, listen up.
hope I can be of some humble service to you. I hear there's going to be a big execution here. There certainly is. It'll be a glorious event for our town. They'll be talking about it for years. Who's for the chop? The biggest outlaws and reprobates for miles around. Peter of Dauba, George Weiss, and Frost Herald. What did they do? What didn't they do, more like? They caused trouble all over the country. Who's this Peter of Dauba? A noble who lost his fortune. He's been holding up merchants for months. That's all? At first, but then his gang started getting bloodthirsty. They wiped out a whole squad that was hunting them. He won't walk away from this. What can you tell me about Herald? They call him Frost because he's always cool as ice until he starts. I've seen plenty of killers and thugs in my day, but that one's got the devil in him. Why? They say the only thing that'll put a smile on his face is the sound of screaming and weeping. That beast kills for pleasure. When they caught him, he had a... a candle made from the arm of an infant. For luck, he said. Christ. What about Weiss? No one actually knows where he came from. But they say the murdering started with him. He never leaves witnesses. He'd rather wipe out a whole village than take a chance. Thanks, Bailiff. That's all I need to know. Good health to you. Is there any work here for carpenters? Are they locals? From Scalitz? Then no. I only take in people I know. I've got some good... All right.
Let's have a word about. Th hmm. Agree? I don't much. I'll go for that. Thank you, Henry. I have a feeling with Herman, I can finally find some happiness. You will. The two of you are made for each other. I need your advice. Did you find out what they did? And did you read the Black Chronicle? Yes. So tell me what you found out, and I'll see what I can come up with. Just bear in mind. I can help you work it out, but you'll only find exactly what you need in the Ratai Black Chronicle. Every executioner has his own way of doing things, and this bastard might have different methods in mind. Peter of Dorba has many murders on his soul, but he's still a nobleman. I'll have to go and find... I need your advice. Did you find out what they did? Yes. So tell me what you... Just bear in mind. I can help you with every execution. Peter of Dorba has many murders on his soul, but he's still a nobleman. His neck is going on the block. That makes sense. His crimes are great, but he's still a nobleman. So he gets an honorable death. George Weiss is a bloodthirsty bastard who left a trail of corpses behind him. He hasn't earned an honourable death. He's for a long drop on a short rope. A murderer deserves nothing better. That makes sense. Frost Herald is the worst of them all. Sent by Satan himself. The things he's done would make a demon blanch. Ooh. 
The executioner will take his time with that one. He'll be begging to die. If I read correctly, it'll start with ripping the flesh. Aye, could be. He deserves nothing better. So, have we got everything we need? We've covered all the possibilities. There's nothing more we can think up. So, what's the plan then? An executioner's greatest boast is to behead with one blow. That's why an executioner's sword needs to be a splendid piece of craftsmanship and sharp as a razor. Hmm. I follow you, but how can I get to the sword? It won't be easy. The executioner's sword is one of his most valuable instruments. Couldn't it just be switched for a different one? You'd notice straight away. It's different than a regular sword, heavier with a blunt point. The balance is different, too. I could take yours and... He'd recognize that, too. An executioner knows his sword like the back of his hand. He'd notice as soon as he picked it up. So I'll have to steal it, dull the blade, and put it back before anyone notices? Yes, that's probably the only way. That'll be interesting. And how can I dull the sword? Should I hack at a stone wall? I thought you were a blacksmith, son. It's enough to cock up the honing. That will make much less noise. That'll do me. With ripping of the flesh, the bastard has to suffer, but survive as long as possible. So, if Herald drops dead right at the start... The executioner will look like a fool. But how can I make sure it happens? I don't know. It depends on the skill of the executioner. An experienced one starts in places where there's no threat of heavy bleeding. The, the sides, the chest... And the Kuttenberg executioner is definitely experienced. No doubt. They use a kind of special tongs, and in between the ripping, the convict's wounds are treated so he can take more. What if I get the one who's supposed to dress the wound drunk? Don't do that. It could be someone from Ratai, and even if it isn't, the blame wouldn't fall on the executioner. Maybe the tongs could be spiked with something nasty. Hmm. And you'd know what to use? I know a little, and I might be able to get something. That would work. Good idea, Hal. That'll do me. What about the hanging? If the rope breaks when it's done, it's an unbelievable disgrace for the executioner. Folks see it as the will of God, and sometimes he even has to let the condemned man go. I could shoot the rope through from a distance with an arrow. Don't be daft. No, you couldn't. But I'm... Where did you get such a stupid idea? From some wench? Even if you somehow hit it, that rope's much too strong. Well... And even if you did manage to shoot it through, do you really think nobody would notice? Uh, maybe it's not the best plan I've ever come up with. I certainly hope not. What about switching it? That could work. I've got an old rope here I don't use anymore. It looks fine, but it's rotten. It'll be perfect. Great, I'll use that. Supposing I just cut it? I doubt it would work. The executioner will check it before the hanging when he's preparing the gallows. He'd probably notice. That'll do me. Thanks. Good health to you.
Who's that?
he tries to torture anyone with this, the lucky fellow will die quickly. should do it. It'll never hold the weight of a grown man. There. You couldn't chop the head off a chicken with this.
Yeah. About the executions. Is it done? Can I let them get on with the executions now? Yes. Now all we have to do is go and enjoy the show. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who redeemed me by his precious blood, have mercy on me and lead me to eternal glory. Amen. Did you see that? An utter disgrace. <laughs> it certainly was. The executioner couldn't hold his head high after that. True. The whole crowd was looking forward to it, and right at the start he fucked up the beheading. And then he took the tongs and... <laughs> and the fellow kicked the bucket right away. Jesus, how he gaped. <laughs> and then furious as a rabid dog. Furious, he grabs the last one. <laughs> and he wasn't even able to hang him. <laughs> uh, I'll be forever grateful to you, Hal. You saved my job, and you deserve a reward for it. Thank you. Good health, dear. I see there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the humans or fled to Rathe. I'm sorry to hear that. And what's keeping you here, alone? My older brother ran away with the wandering players. So when our father was on his deathbed, he made me swear I'd never leave our home. I can see you took your vow seriously. I did. And it's starting to get dangerous around here. Again. The Cumans. If it were Cumans, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food and mark my words. 
they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad hungrier, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. There are gangs like that around, true enough. I saw the mess they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church. But them dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. And where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. And I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no. It takes better man than them to track me down. I sent my wife to Ratto with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about scallets, but the folk here are sure to want to come back. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the Scallet's parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Ratte among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. I can always ask. But I've really got no idea where to start. I can help with that. A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scallets. Simon, I think his name was. Simon? Father Simon? I remember him. That's the one who went missing, right? Aye. I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow, poor thing. That's not a story I've come across. It only reaches folk who care for such tales. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. Until this spring, he showed up here. And what's he doing here? That's just it. People say he's become a hermit. All right. And where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly. But you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with him. I'll go and see what they have to say for themselves. God go with you, lad, and I pray you find him. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry. I'll bring someone. I'll be with you.
Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. I'm looking for the priest, Father Simon, and I heard you might know of him. Simon? What do you want him for? I'm looking for the priest who used to take care of St. James, and the locals tell me they saw him around here. I don't know if I can help you there. He'll never go back to his parish if you ask me. Very well. What is it you want to know? What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemaid in Scalix. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. Yes, these things happen. What can you do? I said as much. I was just glad our girl was provided for. Only she never had the chance to hold that babe in her arms. She didn't live through the birth. I'm very sorry. Such is a woman's lot in life. Men die in battle, and women in the arms of the midwife. And what happened to Simon? The poor man. He took it the worst. He was sure God's wrath smote Mary for her fornication. That's rubbish. People lie together out of wedlock all the time, and God never smites them down. That's just what I told him. But it's hardly my place to lecture a priest. And who knows? Maybe he was right. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. He was overflowing with grief. He barely spoke, didn't eat, refused to take a new housemaid. And then, one fine day, the presbytery was deserted. It took a good season before another priest came along. Where can I find him? He's said to be wandering around here somewhere. I heard that too, and I'm inclined to believe it even though I haven't seen him myself. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately, there's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there, nor my husband neither. You think Simon does? Who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. I could believe anything. But there's not been fresh ones for a while. So perhaps he's moved on elsewhere again. I see. Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. There are settling tanks for the mines to the west of Scalitz. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several paths. Mary's cross is by one of them, close to the brook. All right. Thanks. I'll be going. Very good, then. And if you do find him, let him know that we have no hard feelings. I'll tell him. God be with you. Yeah!
This must be that cross. Mary's mother was right. Someone did lay flowers here recently. I should have a look around and see if there's comfrey growing anywhere nearby. Hey, you! What are you doing here? I've come for the priest. Simon. There's no one here called that. There is. Do you take me for a fool? All right. Maybe there is someone here. What of it? We're not going anywhere. I think you should talk less and move your legs more. And why is that? You think you've got what it takes to beat us? I might. But it doesn't matter, because I saw you yesterday and then stopped by Talmberg to report. So, unless you'd rather wait for Sir Divish's Captain Robard, you should go now. Shit! All right, we'll go. How far are they? Far enough still. If you run, I'm sure you'll get away. Right, right. Thanks for the warning. Yes, yes, I think so. Oh, what happened to those wretches? They're skulking around here somewhere. Good God! Couldn't you scare them off somehow? I'm afraid they'll be back. I'll see what I can do. Just don't hurt anyone. Oh, thank you, my son. I was beginning to fear I'd never get out of here alive. Times are hard when brigands roam the land and attack the defenseless. But they didn't attack me. I saw them raiding birds' nests down by the path, so I took pity on them. Which makes what they did all the more loathsome. That's no way to repay a good Christian's hospitality. And to whom do I owe my salvation? My name's Henry. You may remember me. I'm the son of the Scalitz blacksmith. Your face does seem familiar. 
But listen, Henry, I can't help feeling you didn't stumble across me by accident. It's true. I've come to ask a favor of you. Me? What on earth could I do for you? I need you to go back to St. James. The folk there need spiritual guidance. Scallets has a burned-out shell, and many have died in St. James. They need a priest. Any priest. I understand, but I have to disappoint you. I gave up my calling. Instead, I've given myself over to repentance. I know your story, Father. Then you know what I'm guilty of. Yes, and I don't want to try to make light of it. Your conscience is your own affair. But I know that deep down you're a good man. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know me. But I know what you did. Many priests break God's commandments willy-nilly and aren't the least ashamed. That doesn't absolve me of my sins. God's law is set, no matter how often it's violated. You're certainly right. But the people need you. And forgive me for being blunt, but while you can leave the presbytery if you choose, it doesn't absolve you of your duty to Christian folk. But I'm a sinner. I'm not fit to guide anyone. I'm unworthy to do so. Priests, bishops, monks, abbots, they're all sinners. Even the Holy Father himself is a sinner. You've done your penance, and now your people need you. Well, you're probably right. It is my duty. At least for a time. Until they find someone better. I don't think they'll find anyone better in a hurry. All right. I'll take what I can carry and go back to St. James. Thank you. Your parishioners will be very grateful. My respects to you. I need help. Hmm. Oh, nothing. But Philip from Scalitz is dying. He's lying in Sassau and won't last long. Slowly now. What happened to him? Nobody knows much. He's not wounded. But I heard he was hiding from the Cumans for days in a pile of carcasses. The Lord have mercy. The living should never lie with the dead. His intestines must be purged. But even then, he's in God's hands. How do I clean his intestines? It might surprise you, but you'll have to give him alcoholic spirits. The purest you can get your hands on. The best is distilled from Artemisia. It'll make him a bit delirious, but it'll help. I'll show you how to prepare it. Good luck to you. What's happening? I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sassau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. See you later. you I have the bandages wonderful could you tell brother Nicodemus I can do it myself um I... well good luck to you How are you feeling? Good. It feels clean. Hope it helps. It will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much, Henry. Don't mention it. 
God be with you. You saved me. You've no idea what you've done for me. Oh God, thank you. I didn't do that much. You did more than anyone else here. I'm sorry, I've got no money to repay you. But I can tell you a secret. How workers like me keep up back-breaking labour day after day. What's going on now? You didn't get any brew? The brew's gone. You could have saved some. I know, but I didn't. Can you get me more? Ugh. This is the last time. God be with you. Thank you. Would you teach me? Certainly. I'd like to hone. All right. Isn't that? What do you? That's a. Quiet. Agreed. Good luck.
God be with you, Henry. Tell me more about the situation here. All right. How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. I don't know what I would have done without you. You saved a lot of lives. God be with you, Hen. How about the sick and injured? I don't suppose there's so many now. Perhaps. Though it's very slow progress. And since the construction started, we've constantly had men coming in with bruises and cuts. That's how it goes with building work. It's easy to get hurt. Now we have one who was hit on the head by a fallen stone. He's good as dead, but still breathing. They say the stone blocks are bad. They brought them from Townburg. And I heard other things are going on around the site as well. well. What can be worse than stone blocks falling on people's heads? I just heard some rumours. They're saying the whole construction site is cursed. A skull was found there and people think it belonged to the devil. One labourer already ran away. That's interesting. Maybe I should ask around. The master builder won't tell you anything. But Brother Overseer might. God be with you.